Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We hope you're having a great day. Um, uh, we're doing this series called uh, Daily Reminders. And it's a reminder to just like a checklist so that we, are, we can be reminded of God's eternal and foundational truth for our lives. Uh, so many times we, we rush through the day, we have so many responsibilities and things to take care of. And uh, it's good if we remind ourselves, even before we start the day, now this is the, uh, uh, this is the, the truth uh, which is in God's word. Okay, the psalmist says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Psalm 103 and verse 2. So we need to remind ourselves, we need to remember God and we need to remember the things that he brings our way uh, daily. The Romans chapter 5 and verse 8 says this, But God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So today's reminder is that God loves us unconditionally. Jesus loves us unconditionally. Now it's a, it's a very simple truth, but it's something very, very profound because we are loved by majesty. We are loved by God. We are accepted by Him and uh, we are loved by Him unconditionally. And that is what scripture declares as the agape love of God, a love of God, the God kind of love, which is an in spite of, despite, uh, in spite of love, and it's not a because of love. Um, John chapter 3 and verse 16, this well-known verse, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now that's the heart of God. God not only loves us, but His desire is that we should not perish. He loves us unconditionally. We need to remind ourselves of this truth. 1 John 4 and uh, verses 9 through 11, In this the love of God was manifested towards us, that God sent His only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through Him. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation, propitiation for our sins. Beloved, God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. Now that's the outworking of this kind of love. The fact that he loves us unconditionally, empowers us, strengthens us to love others. If we do not have or if you have not received this God kind of love, then we don't have anything to give others. At best, we can do some things out of our own will and, and choice and decision. But if we receive this God kind of love, just a sacrificial love, unconditional love, that we can show it to others as well. John chapter 17 and verse 23, the Lord says, I in them and you in me, that they may be made perfect in one and that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them as you have loved me. Uh, amazing verse says that God, Father, the Lord Jesus saying, Father, you have loved them as you have loved me. So that's the kind of love that God has for you, that God has for me this morning. So uh, up today, so remind yourself of this truth even as I remind myself that God loves me unconditionally. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you that you love us so much. And may this love cleanse us. May this love heal us. Lord, wash us of all regret and pain. Lord, may this love, Lord, bring us that reassurance that we are accepted by you. And Father God, I pray that uh, even as you love us the way you love Jesus, Lord, we pray that this love would empower us so that we will be confident to show this love to others whom we meet today. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.